Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Stephen. My name is Stephen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm out today because it's a beautiful day out by the bluffs by my house and I'm going to go for a little walk and I wanted to talk to you as well on my walk about what I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist about the next time I see her. And then at the end, when I'm done talking, I'm going to continue my walk and if you're interested, you're totally welcome to keep walking with me. And who knows, I might talk about something then or show you where I'm going at the very least. So, in a few weeks, I will be seeing my psychiatrist again. And I need to talk to her about space. Because I need more of it. Uh, I think anyone does at my age for that matter, but I live with my parents and have lived with my parents my whole life. And especially with my misophonia and the, my it's hard for me to be around certain noises. I think if I had more of my own area, more of my own space, uh, it wouldn't be as bad because I wouldn't hear my parents eating, for example, or making noise with their utensils as they eat. And I think that would be really helpful for me and my mental health to have maybe more of my own area, wherever that would be, however that would happen. And I'm not sure how that would happen. But that's what I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist about the next time I see her. And hopefully we'll figure this out soon. So with that, let's go. I'm going to go over my walk and I'm going to talk a little more about space and how I feel I need it. And I'm going to walk down by the coast. Uh, my plan is to go from here to Lanata Bay, which is about, I don't know, half a mile, mile or so away from here. And my intention for this walk is to go for like three to four miles. Because uh, the last two days I've gone for walks and yesterday it was over four and a half miles, which I'm very proud of. I made a video saying I went for a 4.3 mile walk maybe two months ago and I'm happy I've already beaten that record. So let's go. I'm gonna head out now. All right, so I'm gonna walk nice and easy up here by the cliffs. Beautiful day out. And yeah, so as far as space goes, now I'm not exactly sure how this is going to all happen, but I envision myself having my own area where I can maybe have almost, and this is me wishful thinking, right? But um, maybe this could happen someday where I have my own area in like a house where, I don't know, maybe, maybe I had like my own room, right? Well, I already have my own room at my house, but my own area of the house. And actually I did talk to my psychiatrist briefly about this last time I saw her. And she recommended maybe, well, go or get your own area of the house and have that be like your own mini house, so to speak. Put on my sunglasses real quick. There, it's kind of bright out, sorry about that. Um, but, of course, for me, it doesn't quite work the way our house is. But something like that sounds amazing to me. And I would absolutely love to have my own, like, almost mini house in my house, right? If that makes sense. In my parents' house. Because I know I can't quite live on my own. Um, I, I know I can't do that. I do need support and living on my own would not work well. So that's not gonna work. But if I had more of my own area in the house with my parents, where I could just, I don't know, have some more, not freedom necessarily, but more, not even privacy. It's just a matter of maybe making it so that I don't have to shut every door between my parents and I when they're eating, right? And my parents, they eat with plastic utensils because that's how, that's how stressful it is for me to hear those noises. And ideally, maybe if I had literal more space between us, uh, well, maybe they could actually eat with regular utensils. Maybe, maybe things could be more, I don't know, maybe a little more. <laughs> normal in terms of how that works i guess but i don't know i'm gonna talk to my psychiatrist about this next time i see her and i will let you know how it goes i guess 
Um, I don't really know. All I know is that I feel I need more space, like I've been saying. And you know, I do think it's quite normal to want that, especially for someone my age. I am 23. And you know, a lot of people my age, or I guess even a little younger, right? Like I didn't go to college. I did not finish high school, but I did get my GED, my graduate GED, graduation equivalency di diploma, GED, yeah. And I guess I probably had not had schizophrenia, would have finished high school and would have probably gone off to college and lived on my own there, or maybe in a dorm, who knows. And I would have had more of my own area. And I'd imagine by this point in my life, had I not had schizophrenia, I would have been living in like my own apartment. So that's something that's kind of been like a dream of mine for a while. Don't think I've talked about it much to anyone, but I would like to have my own space, my own area, my own home. And like I said earlier, maybe that would still be with my parents because I can't, I, mean, I don't make most of my own meals except maybe like lunch, which is like a sandwich sometimes. Um, I do need support, I need reminders for like, I don't know, taking care of my bedding and drying it in the dryer, that kind of thing. Um, so I do need to live with my parents still. But I think having more of my own area with my parents still in the same house would be very beneficial for me and my mental health. I think it's something that would be incredibly, maybe therapeutic if that's the right word, where I think my mental health could improve. Sorry about there's a giant helicopter flying up above. I'm gonna wait for a sec so you can actually hear me. Dang, it's a huge helicopter. Okay, that should be far enough away now so I can keep talking. But yeah, and um, I don't know. I just, like in a dream scenario, right? It'd be like a, a big house, one story, because, well, when I'm really tired, I don't necessarily feel safe going up and down our stairs. We have a two-story house. I have already fallen. I think that was like a, two years ago. I was coming down the steps and slipped on the second to last step, hit the center of my back against, <laughs> against the stair, and ended up on my hands and knees uh, in massive amounts of pain, honestly cussing a bit too. It was bad. I didn't break my back or anything, but it was very painful. So ideally this house that I'm picturing in my head would be a one-story house, but bigger, where I'd have my own room. Well, I already have my own room, like I said, but uh, my own room, my own bathroom, which I kind of have already still in this house. But my own, like, area of the house, where maybe I have my own little kitchenette. Maybe I have a studio where I can actually record videos for you guys uh, a little easier, so it's already set up. Maybe I have, like, a nice big TV room. And, I don't know. This is me thinking out loud now and what I would like to have happen someday. Um, that's what I'm picturing in my head. And with that, I think I'd have my own space, right? And with my own space, I will be happier, healthier, and I think also a little more independent. Because then I could really, sure I wouldn't be living on my own, but I would have my own part of the house that I'd have to take care of. That I'd have to, you know, clean, sweep, dirt, dust and stuff. Where I'd have to manage like my own mini house almost inside this house house with my parents. That's what I'm picturing. And I think that would be incredibly cool. Also in my head I'm just picturing like outfitting the house, or decorating rather the house, my part of the house, however I want. Um, that just sounds fun to me. Almost like what I'd imagine you go off to college and you get a dorm. You can put posters up and stuff, I don't know. In my head, that'd be cool to have my own version of that. Not posters necessarily, but like my own decorations and stuff. Yeah. 
So, um, I don't know. That's what I'm picturing. And that's what I'm talking to my psychiatrist about next time I see her. So you're hearing this first. Um, but yeah. Yeah. You know, I did not set my watch to... Shoot. One second. Trying to tell I'm out for a walk. Let's do that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now it'll start recording that I'm actually out for the walk. Forgot about that. Sometimes I forget that. Okay. Now I know how far I've gone and stuff. No, I'd like, I don't know, a quarter of a mile to that. Yeah, I've been walking for a bit already. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So that's just what I'm picturing in my head. Um, I think it'll happen someday. In some way, shape, or form. And I'm looking forward to that day. Where I can actually have my own area, my own space, my own almost house, but inside the house with my parents as well. Because also, I love my parents, you know, I don't want to live apart from them either. Living alone is not something I really like the idea of. But living in a larger area where I have more of my own space, that's what I like the idea of a lot. So, I don't know, that's my plan right now. I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist about this. Excuse me, again in like a few weeks uh, when I see her again. And yeah. Yeah. Because I think everyone does need their own space eventually, right? And I'm looking forward to getting to a place where I can have mine. Yeah. Anyway, so I think that's all I've got for what I'm going to talk to my psychiatrist about. I think that's all I have to say about that. However, I will keep you with me if you're interested. And um, we can walk together. And I want to show you something over here. So I'm very close to one of the cliffs by my house. Literally walking up there right now. And I just want to show you the view here. It's absolutely beautiful. Nice sunny day. It was raining for a little bit a couple weeks ago. So everything's nice and green. Yeah. Um, almost there. So I'm going to show you this in a sec. Beautiful day, beautiful day. And it is nice and... Uh, refreshing to get out in nature um it's good to get exercise obviously but exercising out in nature is special in a way especially when it's this beautiful of a day and yeah it's just nice to reset your brain a little because being in nature can do that for you you're not looking at a screen and i love looking at screens like playing games watching is my favorite thing but it is nice to just see nature for yourself instead of looking at a TV screen constantly. So, all right, here we are. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the camera right now and I wanna show you this view. So, okay. There we are. So, ignore the sewage pipe. Let me, let me turn this up a bit. There we are. Absolutely beautiful living by the ocean. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna keep going. Let's see. Yeah, I've walked close to half a mile now. Again, because I did forget to I forgot to set my, uh, my watch to let know I was going for a walk until after I started, but yeah, actually, if you can give me one sec, I do need to tie my shoe. Okay, this should be good. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going by the water and head to Lunada Bay, which is another beautiful area to just look out and see the ocean and the tide pools and everything there. So uh, yeah, I guess I will 
see you there and I will keep you updated as to where I'm going as I keep going for this walk and we'll see how far I can go. I did bring water the last time I went for a walk like this. I did not bring water and all of you told me and rightfully so that I should bring water next time. So yeah, I should not have that was not smart of me not to bring water the last time. But I am now. So thank you for the heads up for everyone that did say you should bring water. I appreciate you work, you looking out for me there. So much appreciated. Alright, so I guess I will keep you updated as I move along. See you soon. Alright, so it has been about six minutes or so, and I am finally at Lanada Bay Bluffs. And oh man, I'm excited to see this. Absolutely beautiful. Been walking for a little over half a mile now, so not too long. Feeling pretty good, feeling fresh. Still very fresh. And yeah, so while I don't really enjoy meditation, I feel like these walks of mine out in nature is my form of meditation, kind of, where it does reset my mind a bit and um, lets me actually relax and unwind. Uh, again, I'm not big on meditation personally, but that's kind of how I feel I would be getting what I would be getting out of meditation if I were, you know, if I actually enjoy doing it. But this is my meditation, kind of. If that makes sense. All right, oh man, it's beautiful, okay. Okay, almost there. Oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna show you this when I get up here. Wow, oh man, it's beautiful. Okay, here. Right, I'm gonna turn this around right now so you can see Lanada Bay. All right, get right up here. I'm gonna show you. He's not a crow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful day out today. Doesn't get much better than this. At Lanada Bay Bluffs. Yeah, I am honestly very blessed to live this close to such a beautiful place. Absolutely a blessing. Yeah. Wow. It's a beautiful day out. Alright, so I'm going to keep walking. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to end up. But I will keep you posted, obviously, as I keep going. Again, I'm going to try to go for three to four miles, or maybe more, depending on how much energy I have. I did go for over a four and a half mile walk yesterday, so might be a little tired, but as of now, I'm feeling good. And I mean, it's just such a beautiful day. You got to stay out here longer, right? Just such a beautiful sights everywhere. Wow. You can hear the ocean. I can smell the ocean. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Really doesn't get much better than this. To me, it looks very Mediterranean. Having never been to the Mediterranean, I like to think this is similar to how that would look. But again, I'm not totally sure. I just, it's beautiful and it's amazing being here. Absolutely amazing. It makes for a very good place to walk. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna keep heading up. There is a little trail here going from the bluffs up to the elementary school, not too far from my house. So I'm probably gonna head around there. And then I, my plan is just to roam around the neighborhood, down some streets. Uh, what I did yesterday was just that. Actually, I'm kind of going in reverse. I went down the opposite way the way I'm going right now yesterday and just try to get my steps in. Get some good exercise. Yeah. Exercise is good for the brain, good for the soul, good for your body, good for mental health. Yeah. And like I said, especially when it's this beautiful of a day. 
just makes it all better. Yeah. But before I do leave this bluffs, uh, I got a different angle here and I want to show you this too. Wow. Okay, I'm going to show you. Absolutely picturesque. Absolutely beautiful. You can see how green it is. It's not always this green, but it did just rain. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna keep walking and I'll catch up with you. I don't know, maybe like a mile or so. Let's see. We're going for 0.7 miles right now. Um, I'll catch up with you soon then. And I'll keep you posted. And let's see how long I can go without getting too tired and too worn out. I do want to push myself a bit today. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. So I know I said I was leaving the bluffs, but I mean, I just got to show you one last shot here of Lenata Bay because it's just. I just want to show you, this is beautiful. Okay, one last shot. Okay, that was one last try. Just, it's too beautiful to pass up showing you more of it. Yeah, so let's see. All right, 0.8 miles since I started recording my walk. So it's been about a mile then, because I, I did forget to start it right away. And let's see, it says I burned 72 calories. Pretty good, take it. And uh, my heart rate's 141 right now. I do have a fast heart rate, just anyway but um that's not great i don't think to have a heart rate of 141 even when i'm is it really 150 now even though i'm walking i might have to tell my psychiatrist about that too because uh we may have to do something about that yeah anyway i'll catch up with you in a bit okay so i'm closing in on a mile walk to as far as my watch has registered so it's been a little over a mile since i did start my walk and it's amazing what a little exercise can do. You know, uh, since I started walking in these last few days, I've slept better, I've had more energy, I've felt better in general too, been able to think a little clearer. It's actually amazing to me, because th that'll help motivate me, I think, to keep this up, knowing that I do feel that much better when I am exercising, as opposed to when I'm not, and <laughs> just sitting there constantly throughout the day and I was hoping right around here yesterday I did see I don't know what they were like ground squirrels of some kind I was really hoping I'd see them again I don't see them now but hopefully I'll keep rolling right now hopefully we can find them because that'd be really cool to show you oh that's the school bell Right next to the elementary school. I don't know if you could hear that. What time is it? Oh yeah, they're getting out of school like very soon, I think. Okay, this might be a little traffic here. That's fine though. Yeah, I don't see the squirrel, whatever things they were. Don't actually know what they are. That's too bad, I don't see them. Oh well, maybe I'll come back another time and they'll be here then. And, yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. I really wanted to show you that. Oh well. Yeah. Actually, there's a house up here that early on in the pandemic, I don't quite know how this started really, but I remember my, uh, my mom and I were driving and we saw this old lady in there just looking out. Okay, one mile walked on my watch. Anyway, and uh, we started waving to her, and every time we go by since then, 
or not since then, but for a while after we'd uh, drive past and wave to her. She hasn't been there in a long time, so I don't know, hope she's doing okay. Maybe she moved. Yeah. House is right up here, but the windows, or the blinds rather, are closed at the window. Hmm. I heard something. Do I see him? Dang, I heard one of them. I don't see the little squirrel things. Bummer. Thought for a second I'd be able to show you. All right, coming up to the elementary school right now. Getting a little tired, but um, still feeling good overall. So I'm gonna keep moving. Heard another one. Oh, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day though. It's nice just to be in nature, in the neighborhood. Places I would never go past had I not been out walking. Just nice to see. Also, personally, I love some architecture, so I love to see the different houses. I, I prefer like a rustic, more like Mediterranean style, personally. But it's nice to see different architecture too. I do enjoy that sometimes. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Hundred calories. Oh my gosh. Hundred calories burn, <laughs> but um. My heart rate's 155 right now. I don't think that's good. Uh, even for exercise. But, um, I don't know. Still doing good. So, I'll catch up with you in a bit again. When I get closer to two miles, maybe. Or if I see something cool. Or think of something to say. All right. All right. And actually, I believe a few of you in the past have wondered if I listen to music or podcasts while I go for my walk. And I never had before, but those are good ideas. And I actually did yesterday. And I found that listening to podcasts and some music, I was able to go for that four and a half or so mile walk. And it felt like less time went by. I was still enjoying nature, but at the same time I was, you know, doing something else, this music or podcast. And that helped past the time and I, that's how I, was, I think I was able to go for that long of a walk because I didn't realize I was getting that tired because I was just enjoying listening to the music and the podcast. So I'm happy you suggested that those of you that did in the past. It's a good idea and I will continue to do that in the future when I'm not doing a walk and talk like this. I'll be listening to music or a podcast. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, I've walked for a little over one and a third miles. Pretty good. Still on the street in my neighborhood. Made a left at the elementary school so I don't run into all the kids. Um, yeah. Can hear birds up above. It's very zen right now. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice enjoying. The serenity of my neighborhood. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep going. See you in a bit. And I don't think I mentioned this already, but it's always nice when you do exercise and you burn all these calories and you can eat more. And because I already eat too much because of my medicine, it's good to know that I, what I'm eating doesn't affect my weight as much because I'm burning off all these calories. When I was on the swim team, before I fell, oh, well, okay. As I was falling ill and slightly before, I mean, I would, we'd be swimming for like an hour straight. And I was like training type of swimming. Training to do swim meets, which I did one. I got first in freestyle, third in breaststroke or the other way around. So I'm very proud of that. Of course, then I fell ill and I wasn't able to continue. But when I was swimming like that, um, I could eat literally whatever I wanted and it wouldn't make an impact. Because I needed that kind of sustenance because I was exercising for so long. I remember I'd be there swimming, actually the high school right next to my house. 
Then I'd walk back, take a shower. Of course, when we're swimming, it's in like ice cold water, because if it's warm water, <laughs> you're not gonna swim very fast. As proof, uh, one time we had to swim at a different a school, a different pool, because they were doing some, I don't know, something was happening at the pool we usually swam at. And uh, it was like 80 degrees warm. It was so nice. And they were yelling at us like, you, you gotta go faster, you gotta swim, come on. And we just couldn't. Uh, so, of course, the water has to be nice, icy cold to keep you active and not want to go to sleep like a sauna. Or a, not a sauna, like a jacuzzi. Anyway, so I remember getting back, taking a shower, feeling so cold that even just lukewarm water felt like it was burning me. Didn't love that. I loved the swimming part. Didn't love that. But uh, after that, I remember I'd well, I'd do my homework and stuff, but for dinner, I'd have a whole bowl of like corn chowder or clam chowder with like biscuits on the side. Yeah, so I could eat whatever I wanted back then. And feels better knowing now that I'm doing this kind of exercise. I'm sure, I can't eat as much as I did then because I'm not doing that kind of exercise, but it is nice to know that I can eat more or eat my usual amount, honestly, and not feel as bad about it, I guess. Knowing that it's not gonna impact me too much because I am burning off all these calories going for these walks. Yeah. Yeah. And I just passed a mile and a half a little bit ago. It's feeling good. Feeling good. All right. And as a lot of you mentioned the last time we did a walk like this and recorded it, um, I should bring water, so I did. I'm gonna stay hydrated this time. Last time I was not well hydrated, and that was not good. I did not pass out or anything, of course, but that's not good to be dehydrated, so thank you to all of you out there that said bring water next time. I'm gonna have some right now. Stay hydrated while I go for this walk. All right, so I have been walking for a little, close to two and a third miles, and I'm not, Sure, I'll be able to go for four today. We'll see. But I think something that I struggle with is when I am exercising, sometimes my adrenaline gets going, you know, and I keep going and I go too much. And all of a sudden, I've exercised to the point of exhaustion. And then the next day, I'm like, well, dang, I kind of want to exercise, but I'm too tired or too sore. Then the next day comes, well, I'm still not feeling great. Then all of a sudden, like a week or two goes by and I haven't exercised. So that's something I am working on, and I may cut this walk a little shorter than I intended originally, but I think that's good, so that I'll stop now to exercise another day, you know? Uh, otherwise, I might not exercise for a while, knowing myself. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep going for now. Kinda just been walking aimlessly around the neighborhood, just enjoying the peacefulness. So you can probably tell, a little out of breath, did have my water, that helped. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you posted. We'll see how far I can go. And before I overdo it, I'll head back home. And let's see real quick. So I've been walking since I started recording, because again, I forgot to hit record on my watch right when I started, but it's been just over 52 minutes, 2.21 miles, 205 calories burned. That's pretty darn good, I think. And my heart rate's at 150. Still pretty high, even for exercising. It's actually good for me to know, so I'll have to talk to my psychiatrist and maybe go see a heart special, heart specialist, cardio specialist, no, specialist about that as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep going. Let's see how far I can go before I overdo it, and then I'll stop there and head home. Yeah. All right, so I've been walking for 59 minutes, burned 238 calories. My heart rate is down a bit, 143, good. And I have gone for, as far as I've recorded, two and a half miles or so, a little over. And actually where I'm standing right now is 0.5, so half a mile away from my house. And I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I'm gonna head home, because I do not want to overdo it. May have a little already, but before I really overdo it, yeah, I'm gonna head home. And yeah, 
I'll see you when I get there. And I hope you had fun watching me, or coming along with me rather, on my walk. I certainly had a lot of fun. And yeah, we'll see when I get home and I'll fill you in on how it went. At least my stats on my watch and stuff, so you got a better idea how I did. And yeah, beautiful day. It's been a good day for a walk. And again, very happy to have you all here with me. So I'll see you when I get home. All right, so I just got back in my house. I think it's a good thing I called it before, for four miles. I am beat, but feeling good all together nonetheless. Let's see. It says I went for 71 minutes. So it's maybe 10 more or so than that because I forgot to record at the beginning. And I have burned 288 calories. My heart right now is 143. Not too, no, not terrible for me, honestly. It was a lot higher earlier, as you saw. And I went for over 3.11 miles. I think it's more like three and a half miles by the time I started recording. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm really happy to have had you along with me. I had a breath on this walk and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. I hope to see you all in the next video.